Tanishk and Indian jewelry brand from the Tata Group announced the launch of its first store in the United States on Wednesday, January 18th. The flagship store located in Islin on Oak Tree Road in New Jersey aims to tap into the sizable Indian diaspora and meet their evolving needs. Life is about making choices, feeling empowered, and being at peace with the decisions one makes. So my decision right now is to shop at Tanishk, the brand new jewelry store in Island on the Oak Tree Road, New Jersey. Let's shop. Welcome to Tanishk. We are with Kuldeep and Ankit and they will be telling us more about what Tanishk Jewelry is all about. Yeah, we just opened a store in uh, New Jersey, Islam. So Tanishk Jewelry, there's you know, all the traditional design, like to all community, like you know, we serve to all community. There's you no know, traditional design, there's you know, a contemporary design, like all kind of design you will get it into uh, in a one room. What makes the niche so special? So what we have, we have a mix of designs. I can say we have a machine-made jewelry also. We have handmade jewelry also, and we can you can say we have jolly work jewelry also. So we have, and we have just selected design from the different parts of India. So it's all uh, and it's being and we have the karigas which are spreaded across India, and we have selected that karigas from Pan India, and we have made the design because think that every design requires a special karigar to make that. Hence, we have made sure that we have brought in that karigar from different parts of India and we have put into that jewelry. So every piece of jewelry is unique. The store displayed its most recent collections at the inaugural event, including Color Me Joy, a cocktail jewelry collection, Romance of Polki, Rhythm of Rain Moods of Earth, and Alekia.
One of the most loud brands of India, Tanishq is synonymous with superior craftsmanship, exclusive designs that range from modern to traditional and capture the special moments in the life of every woman. Uh, back in 2020, when some of us were walking Oak Tree Road for the very first time, we were amazed at what the Indian community had built here. It's uh, almost a home away from home. And uh, at that point in time, we said we got to get a Tanishkin here. And that's finally happened uh, after a while, but it's, it's, it's something that we're really looking forward to. One of the things uh, everybody here in this audience would have figured is that Indians love jewelry. And I wish uh, we could go back to a time when Indian men wore as much jewelry as Indian women. <laughs> so one of the things we realized is that uh, Indians in New Jersey were making excuses. And it was like, you know, I need to see my mom. This winter is really cold in New Jersey. I want to go back to Ahmedabad. But what we realized is that these excuses were because they wanted to go back to India to buy Tanishk. <laughs> so we really felt that it was important to complete the story by bringing a Tanishk here into New Jersey. And we hopefully have brought something that the community will love and will grow to enjoy. A United States Senator, a United States Congressman, a State Senator, and a lowly mayor, and I'm the guy that's got to leave early and do some other events. I don't know how that worked out, but thank you for letting me come up early and welcome uh, to Tanish to America. This is the first investment in the United States, and I'm so thrilled that it's right here in Whitbridge in the Island section in Oak Tree Road. So I literally got married in 1983. My first house was just over the parkway, a right, two lefts, and a right. So I lived in this district for 15 years, and I watched it. And I watched it deteriorate to the point where it was abandoned buildings and boarded up stores and a couple old biker bars. And then I watched it become revitalized, literally store by store, as the Asian Indian community invested here one by one. And now it is the most thriving business district, Asian Indian business district, in the state of New Jersey and probably on the East Coast. So we're very, very proud of the investment that your community has made. In the, in the early 90s, when the founder of Titan Company was dreaming up this concept for this jewelry brand, Tanishk, he called it the Tiffany of the East. And uh, over the last 25 years, this brand has put together a compelling combination of transparency and assurance, of deep design stories, superb detailing, exceptional product quality, and magical store experience to create India's most iconic consumer lifestyle brand across categories. A brand which evokes awe, respect, prestige of the mere mention. And we're here today bringing that brand to the US, starting with New Jersey today. We happened to be on Fifth Avenue yesterday and happened to pass the Tiffany store and I could almost feel the worries emanating from that store the Tanishk of the West is now here across the Hudson. So, so we're taking our fight to the Fifth Avenue, and this is just the first step. The same customer value proposition that made us so big, so prestigious, and so successful in India, we're bringing that here, starting with the Indian diaspora first, but not taking our eyes off Americans, North Americans in general. I, I wanted to take a, a, a note from uh, Senator Menendez. You know, we talk about Indian culture and how the Indian American community and businesses have brought Indian culture uh, to our area. And whether we go to Navratri or 
or uh, you know different events throughout the year, uh, it's really an opportunity to present to us uh, examples, if you will, of Indian culture and the pride that the Indian American community has in their culture. But I, 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 I agree with Senator Menendez that in many ways jewelry is sort of the epitome of that, right? Uh, in other words, when we look at Indian jewelry, and it's not just now, you could go to the Natural History Museum in, in Washington and they have the room with all the diamonds and the rubies, most of which actually came from India. So it's always been sort of the pride of India, uh, the jewelry. Uh, and when I stopped in the store and I saw some of the beautiful things that were being shown there, and I saw the way they were presented, even Valpreet, the peacocks. I just love peacocks. I have all kinds of, you know, I, I always tell the story about elephants because um, I have all kinds of elephants in my district office and people say, what are you, a Republican? You got all these elephants? And I have to explain that, you know, this is a, an Indian phenomenon. But the same is true with the peacocks. And when I came today and I saw you exhibiting the peacocks because they have the gold and the glitter, you know, just like the jewelry. Like it's just, it's just, it just brings home um, the, 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 the wonder, if you will, of India and its culture to see this very high-end, if you will, jewelry uh, being sold here as an example in the first start uh, for here uh, in the United States. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here with Senator Menendez and Congressman Pallone and all the other distinguished guests. Consul General who's, who's been incredible. We send him a lot of constituent passport issues that he resolves very quickly. I'm sure he's going to get a bunch more today after that. Uh, and of course to uh, the Graywall family, uh, we had the pleasure of traveling with Wes and many of us and the governor who traveled to India a couple of years ago and, and had an uh, incredible time and, and Valpreet and Yogi were incredible hosts. Uh, a shout out to Councilman Viru Patel, first Indian American Councilman Woodbridge, this is his district. Give him a round of applause. Uh, my deep appreciation for being here. I am not going to read this entire proclamation. We have a proclamation on behalf of the Senate, signed by the Senate President, tested by the Senate Secretary, not just for this incredible brand, but more importantly to these, uh, this brother and sister duo who do so much each and every day for the people of New Jersey with their connection to India. So I'm going to give these to you guys. God bless you. Congratulations on a great day. And in some sense, even though it's a beginning, the story of this enterprise goes back more than a century ago. Even before the Tatas established their first steel plant in India, Jamshed Jir, the, the doyen of the Tatas, came to the United States looking for metallurgical engineers. He took one from Pittsburgh so that iron ore could be prospected in central India and other parts of India. And since then, the story of Tatas in the United States has grown several folds. Over the decades, adding a layer each time a strength each time, a depth each time to this very special partnership that we share with this great country, United States of America. And now the story folds. Innovation, digital age, TCS, all the new things that are happening in the world is coming, is being brought to this country and from here back to India through the House of Tatas. Thank you very much for all the support that you are doing, all the strength you are giving to India-US partnership and friendship. Yesterday, I was going through the works of a very celebrated photographer. He lives close by in Philadelphia, Steve Mercury. If you happen to look at his work, he's traveled to India for the last 40 years, almost 100 times. If you look at his works, it, he captures pre-modern, ancient, medieval, and India into the digital age. A whole expanse he covers in 100 pages to me, when I was looking at what Tanishk, the value that it brings to this market and to people here, draws a parallel with the works of Steve Mercury. If you've heard of aesthetics, one of the finest expositions or book or treatise written on aesthetics comes from India, the Natya Shastra. It was written somewhere around 200 BC. And what Tanishk brings you is the story of Natya Shastra performing arts and aesthetics from that age to all the innovation and new things that are happening in India from the digital age. That is the value of Tanishka for people here, for our friends here. I wish the enterprise the very best. You know, people say, and uh, Congressman Poloni talked about it, Little India, the, 
the, the home of Indians outside the United States is here in Edison. And today, to that home, we are lighting another lamp, a warmer lamp of color, of vibrancy through Tanish. All the very best to you. Keep the flag flying high. Thank you. Once again, ladies. Namaste. That is not Indian music. Uh, it's not Bollywood, uh, but it's my national anthem. So thank you very much, uh, Shivi, for playing it. Uh, first of all, it, I'm really thrilled uh, to be here with my wife, Nadine, who knows something about jewelry, uh, to welcome Tanishke uh, as part, which is part of the Titan group, and of course, uh, of the Tata group which uh, when I was in India, we had an opportunity to meet with his executives, uh, to New Jersey. Uh, I told the executives uh, of uh, Titan Group that you know who's really the big shots, they're the ones who are not wearing a tie, uh, because they don't have to. So uh, it's, it's great to see and welcome you here. Uh, I uh, am thrilled to be in the company uh, of my colleague in the United States Congress, Congressman Frank Pallone, whose name is synonymous with the South Asian uh, community uh, and the Indian community uh, in terms of a champion in the House of Representatives. So Frank, thank you for joining us uh, to a, a, a incredible groundbreaking leader uh, in our state, who's just an incredible public servant, uh, Senator Ben Gopal, Senator, thank you uh, as well. I know Mayor McCormick had to leave, but I have to tell you, I was a mayor at one time. I know how hard that job is. Uh, mayor McCormick, I, I like to kid him, one of the greatest mayors in all of the land, certainly one of the greatest mayors we have in the state of New Jersey, and it's because of his leadership that attracts people and brings people together in common cause uh, that Woodbridge is thriving so much. So Mayor, thank you for your leadership all of the time. To the distinguished council general, of India, who has a lot of uh, area to cover in his ha on behalf of uh, uh, the government of India here, and does a fantastic job of reaching out to communities and creating greater depth of understanding between our two people and our two countries. Thank you, Dini. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. This occasion is a very special one. It's a culmination and a cherished dream, a vision, a journey of hope and faith and a challenge overcome with work and diligence. I feel fortunate to be the first business partner in North America for Tanish, which is the largest Indian brand of jewelry from the House of Tata. I'm honored to share this day with some distinguished guests who are also our friends. Thank you, Senator Menendez and your lovely wife, Nadine, for being here. Senator, thank you for being a friend to our family and continuously supporting the South Asian community. Thank you, Congressman uh, Pallone. Thank you for being here today. We are so happy this is happening in your district. S thank you, Senator Vin Gopal, for your dedication and service and your accessibility to all. Councilor General Jaswal, thank you for taking the time for being here. The meeting of an Indian brand with American market is truly remarkable, and we can hopefully replicate this in other areas. Uh, Mayor McCormick left. But I, I couldn't be more excited to welcome and have his team here. Uh, I truly appreciate all the help that helped us to get this project done. There are a lot of challenges and we were able to, you know, come to this day. Senator Robert Mendez, senior United States Senator from New Jersey and Randy Jaiswal, Council General of India and New York, along with Johnny McCormick, Mayor Woodbridge, Wesley Matthews, Choose New Jersey Inc. President and CEO, Win Gopal, New Jersey Senator and Congressman Frank Pallone were the chief guests at the inauguration of the store. The chief guests were hosted by C.K. Venkataraman, Managing Director, Kuru Villa Marco, CEO, International Business, and Amrit Pal Singh, Business Head, North America at Titan Company Limited. Take a look. <laughs> Along with I did, you. I did. Is she going to shop? 
Is she going to shop? Well, I don't know about today, but, <laughs> but I'm sure she will come and shop because she loves jewelry and she uh, loves uh, the Indian culture. We got we got uh, engaged in India at the Taj Mahal, oh, really? so we have a special connection to India. Oh yeah. my God, how romantic is that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what did you give to her on your engagement? Oh, uh, on the engagement, where is it, Manamon? Wow. Does that come with the four C's? Did you check all the <laughs> specifications? And yes, I checked all the specifications. It's okay. a once-in-a-lifetime gift. Of course, of course. <laughs> and we visited <laughs> one of the stores. Let's go. We're gonna go. Uh, one of the stores in India and bought beautiful earrings. Yeah, we love the right. Indian jewelry. Thank so, you so much. This is fantastic. <laughs> What are your predictions for the future of the jewelry industry? I think it's just growing. There's we see every demographic, every kind of person from the older generation to young generation. There's co contemporary pieces that everyone appreciates. So I think it's going to continue and it's going to grow as the Indian community is growing. So that's what I think. Okay, so uh, back in the day, if you bought a diamond for your wife or a girlfriend, she would be over the top. Yeah. But today, that luxury line, it has to compete with, say, an exotic holiday right. or the latest iPhone. How right. do you compete with that? I mean, they're so in tune. Tata is so in tune to what's, what's going on. They know, like, we're going to have an interactive wall where people can order things over and they can design them. So they understand the market and they're really taking a lot of feedback in. So I don't see any challenge with an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Women in jewelry, you can't. That breaks the iPhone. <laughs> oh, got it. Describe a woman who wears a piece of Tanishq jewelry. Uh, someone who is sophisticated, well-poised, and know what she really wants. This uh, line of jewelry is meant for every woman. Uh, we have everything from, of course, yellow gold to stone jewelry to the high-end brand called Zoya, which is diamond jewelry. And uh, we can cater to pretty much anyone, any age, and whatever their need or want is. How much are you going to be active in picking up uh, the designs, especially because you are here and you know the South Asian market better than anyone else. So how active are you going to be in that? Uh, very. In fact, we do many focus groups with women and men of all ages to figure out what their uh, asks and wants and desires are in jewelry. And if we don't have it, we would let the design team in India know. And sure enough, they send over the appropriate pieces. So focus groups is a lot of what we do. In fact, we have one later today as well. Great, great. Thank you so much for talking Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.